Well, here's Marty, a three-year-old, just turned three, a liver and white female that was homebred, raised, and trained. She's my personal shooting dog. It's all finished up, steadied up. We're going to work her on a pair of hen pheasants today out in the training field for today's session. Then you're looking for a nice windshield wiper pattern, uh, some good hustle when they're working back and forth, following hand signals and whistle signals to turn and the various body language to try to put her where I want her and when. Pretty cooperative youngster. I can generally make her uh, wind up where I want her to be, which helps a lot as far as getting them positioned in a good place downwind of the birds, which is part of the handler's job to help the dog out when they can. And she runs with some pretty good hustle here and has a, quite a nice nose as well. Goes to her birds well, likes to retrieve, good in the mouth. And she's not had a lot of pheasants at, at this point in time, maybe three dozen or so. And we're coming close to our bird here. There it goes. You can see her making game as she moves in on it. And the bird was hit pretty good, but recovered. And she's having to sit there a lot longer than usual because it hit in the tree line and was trickling down through the branches before I called her name to send her to retrieve. So that was uh, why she had to sit there so long, which normally you wouldn't make them wait quite that long. And it's a lengthy retrieve as well. And here she comes back with her bird. Good girl, Marty. Nice delivery coming on in. Uh, really good in the mouth she is, which I appreciate that as well. Something that you selectively breed for. Uh, there are several generations of dogs going back. I owned and, and raised and trained her mom's mom and mom, as well as the th about three generations on the male side as well. We're going to go ahead and get ready to go and proceed down the course for our second bird here now. And it's going to leave her sit there and walk back to the center and we'll get ready to go. Put another shell in the gun. Showing good manners, sitting there waiting on me to get ready, putting the bird in the pouch and reloading and getting ready. Okay. She's doing a nice job working her pattern out there, following whistle signals to turn and to work back in and hand signals for left and right, which is what you're seeing when I'm using my arms to send her those directions. It's kind of like dancing with the dog. Uh, when you've worked them long enough and you're making a good team, being able to cover the ground and present their nose to all the cover and, and work well, there's nothing quite like it, really, where you have an animal as a go-between between between what you're trying to achieve. Nothing quite like a nice bird dog. And the wind's out of the north and west for this particular lesson. Scenting conditions are pretty good. It's the first part of January, and there she's got that bird found a long way out through her head and run right straight to it. That was a nice find. And a missed shot, and conclude our session here. Good girl, Marty.